Hi, I'm Joe and welcome to the channel. I recently did a micro lesson called How to Play a Guitar Solo Without Thinking About Scales and in it I shared two concepts. One, targeting chord tones and two, voice leading. In this micro lesson I wanted to explore a little bit further the first concept, targeting chord tones. See, when I went to college, I studied professional music with an emphasis on songwriting, so I really didn't spend a lot of time learning how to solo or improvise. And lately I've been trying to do that and trying to learn that process, so I thought I would share the steps that I'm taking to practice chord tone soloing. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you find any value in this video whatsoever, please do me a favor and consider supporting the channel for free by subscribing down below and hitting the like button. It really helps me out. Let's go ahead now and jump into the micro lesson. So here's the setup. For practicing this chord tone soloing, I decided just to make a simple two chord vamp. I did an A to a D chord, so a one to a four chord. And I'm gonna use the A major pentatonic scale. And again over A and D. Now the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna target the root notes, the root notes of each chord change. So that would be just simply playing A and D. I'm not going for anything groundbreaking here. I'm just trying to train myself to listen. Listen to the chord changes that are happening underneath me because so often I'm just so used to just plowing through a scale or just playing some licks and I'm not paying attention to the music that's underneath me. So part of this whole exercise for me and hopefully for you is just to listen, just to listen to the chords that are happening underneath you so you can identify when those changes are happening, so you can learn how to target those chord tones. That's A, D. So I'm just listening now, A to D. And I'll hit the roots. So congratulations, I just, so, so congratulations to me. I just successfully navigated my first chord progression. I did chord tone soloing, just nailing those roots. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce a pickup note or a lead in note. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the note C sharp, going to the A and C sharp, going to the D. Now this is a pickup note, so that means I need to play that note before the chord change actually happens because I still want to land on the root when the chord changes happen to, to signify that I know where the changes are and I know where I'm landing. So let's give this a shot. So let's go ahead now and expand our pickup options. In that case, I was using the same pickup note, the C sharp to get to the A and the C sharp to get to the D. Well, let's do a different pickup note for each chord change. So for the A, I'll do an F sharp. And for the D, I'll do an E to the D. So now we're again, we're starting to expand our pickup notes. Again, I'm not playing anything groundbreaking here, <laughs> but again, I'm listening, I'm hearing how the chord changes are happening underneath me, and I'm starting to add other notes before I land on my target notes, which are the roots. So we can keep expanding this concept. I can even add more pickup notes. Let's add two notes before I get to the root of each chord, and let's see what that sounds like. you get the concept here. I'm not going to bore us, <laughs> bore you to death by keep playing the same thing over and over again. But the idea is simple. You start by identifying a target note that you want to land on and then you can start adding notes to lead up to it or to pick up and get into that note. Now, 
since we have just the root that we've been doing, remember a chord is made up of a root, a third, and a fifth. So all these now become target tones. So let's go ahead and try targeting the third of each chord. So in this case here, A, I'm gonna now be looking to hit the C sharp. And for the D, I'll be looking to hit the F sharp. And let's go ahead and just target those, landing on the first beat of each measure. And again, like what I did with the roots, let's go ahead and add in some pickup notes now to get into those thirds. So for my practice routine, I'm gonna do the same exact concept for the fifth. I'm gonna start tar targeting the fifth on the downbeat of each measure and then I'll start adding some pickup notes into it. So you can see here this concept is very simple, but again, it's training our ears to listen and it's training us to target specific chord tones. Now, you might be asking yourself, Joe, why did you do such a boring backing track? <laughs> well, I did that kind of on purpose. You know, you ever hear the expression where they say a singer can sing a phone book and it'll sound fantastic? <laughs> well, any musician should be able to pick up their instrument and make it sound good despite whatever's happening behind us. So I chose a very basic and kind of boring actual arrangement of just these chords banging out here because it forces me to try to creatively think and make my lead lines more interesting. And if you want to, I'll go ahead and put a link to this backing track in the description below if you want to play along with it as well. So some practice tips for you. Come up with your own chord progression. Maybe start with two chords, then introduce a third chord. And every time you introduce a new chord, again, start to target the root, the third, and the fifth of the, that chord. Add a fourth chord if you want to, and keep expanding on this concept. And remember too, you can mix and match. And what do I mean by that? Well, on the first time that you go around, let's say in this progression here in the A to D progression, the first time I go around, maybe I'm gonna first target the root of the A chord, but the third of the D chord. And the second time around, I'm gonna target the fifth of the A chord and the third of the D chord. And start, again, mix and matching those things, mix and matching your pickup lines as well. And try to develop maybe some motifs, some melody ideas that you can start to expand upon as the chord progression keeps going and going. And another thing to do, please try to record yourself, record your progress and hear how you're progressing and listening to each chord change you also might capture then some very cool licks and motifs that you might want to add to your own vocabulary for when you improvise or craft a solo. That's another micro lesson down. Again, if you found any value in this video whatsoever, please consider supporting the channel for free by subscribing down below, hit the like button, and knock on the bell and you'll be notified when the next video comes out. As always, I wish you a wonderful day.